welcome to Addicted to Watches. A few things have changed recently, which you might be able to see with the new desk. This video will be both a little channel update, as well as an unboxing of my most recent purchase. If you've been watching my videos for a little while, you've probably realized that I was living in Japan, which gave me access to lots of JDM models, as well as second-hand stores which had some hidden gems and bargains. Fortunately or unfortunately, I have left Japan for now and am currently living back in my home country of Australia. That means I've got a new set and also access to many of the watches that I wasn't able to take with me to Japan. Expect some new and interesting reviews to be uploaded in the near future. Enough of that though, we want to see watches, not listen to my life story. On to the unboxing. And we begin this unboxing with a literal box. Can't get any better than that. This package comes all the way from China, which you can guess means that this is a watch from AliExpress. It's from a brand that's been covered a lot here on YouTube, but I've not had personal experience with it until now. I've been curious as there are some models that they have that interest me, but higher than average prices for AliExpress made me hesitant. That was until recently when I saw the official store having a clearance sale bringing this watch down to a much more palatable 200 Australian dollars from over 400. That's about 138 US dollars. For that price, I was willing to take a shot on this one. With the box open, we can see a familiar flight case that comes with watches from a number of AliExpress brands, and the name on this one reads San Martin. Most reviews I've seen for the brand give them very high praise for finishing and quality, but it's time to find out for myself. I do like this little case it comes in. It's something I can actually use for storage of watches or anything else I want, rather than a watch box that will just go into the cupboard. Inside the box, we have this little bag of tools to resize or remove the bracelet, as well as this instruction manual that I'm not going to read. And finally, a warranty card that is actually signed and dated. I'm not interested in those though, so let's grab the watch itself and take a look. And here it is, it's the SN079, which is clearly homaging the Seiko Sumo, which I also owned. Part of the reason I was attracted to this model out of all of those on sale was because I'll be able to directly compare it with my experience of owning the genuine Sumo from Seiko. We can see from all this plastic that the watch was wrapped pretty well to protect it during shipping. Maybe a little too well, as I'm struggling to get some of it off. Right off the bat, it is much more shiny than the Sumo, with that ceramic bezel insert and sapphire crystal. They've really gotten the shape and size of this watch spot on to the original. The head of the watch feels basically the same as my Sumo. A quick turn of the bezel to check out the sound and feel. It's much more satisfying than the experience of the Seiko Sumo with its click spring, and, quickly slipping it on wrist, it basically wears the same as my Sumo too. Well, that's it for the unboxing, keep an eye out for my full review coming soon.